Drake Land at the Drake Hotel. The Drake Hotel is one of my favorite go-to spots in the city, always has been. And they've just launched Drake Land, which is like the equivalent to Wonderland for the entire summer. It's very cool in here. There's a guy sitting in front waiting to get dunked. And here they're making some potent lemonade. Their lemonade stand. Pretty damn cool, right? Yeah. I'm going to yeah. get a spike lemonade now. Yeah. I'm standing here with Phil Simpson, general manager of the Drake Hotel. How much do you love your job? Well, we, we always say we're some of the lucky, luckiest boys and girls in show business because we get to practice the art of hospitality and have fun every every living, breathing day. Yeah, and you always come up with some great ideas. So how did you come up with Drake Land? Well, for the summer of 2012, we decided to turn the Drake into an amusement park. So there's things going on all over the Drake uh, all summer long. It's a genius idea. Now, the guy that's going to get done is he there all summer? <laughs> no. no, we pleaded with him to, uh, to make it a, a, a permanent job. That's uh, Will Huffman, who's the head of the Toronto Arts Council. So for a charitable gift tonight, uh, three balls for five bucks, you get to dunk him in a tank, and the proceeds go to uh, Sketch, which is a, a youth-oriented uh, community arts group. So, oh, oh, that's amazing. Have you gone on the roller coaster? <laughs> Not yet. I'm, I'm waiting for you. Okay. You got I'm yourself a, a deal. Of heights. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> they have truffle butter, pecorino cheese. Who makes French fries out there, really? Look how cute these pickles on a stick are. Like, I love pickles. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> it's not that big. <laughs> it's quite the vibe in here. I just had a sip of the rum raspberry lemonade. Now you have a sip because that is bloody delicious. I think I have to come to the Drake once a week just to have that. Number one, it's just down the street from our office, and number two, yeah, that is excellent. I know. <laughs> Hi, what is this? Uh, chili cheese dogs. Chili cheese dogs, wow. It's right up your alley. It really, truly is. Look how cute it is, it's so tiny. Tiny for you. Tasty, the dog is good. Nice all beef. Has the goat cheese on there. It's good, it's neat because it's not chili cheese that's not made of like not like that orange cheese kind of stuff that's going on, processed crap. This is nice. A little bit of chili, a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of smokiness. Yeah, I, I couldn't see you liking it. <laughs> Why didn't I want? I just got this crazy looking thing. It's a chocolate and nut covered banana. What? You know when I was a kid, my mom used to make me toast with peanut butter and banana and sprinkle it with a little bit of Nutella. <laughs> so it was tasty. Totally childhood bringing memory. Oh. Wonderland. Now don't I feel like an idiot? What did I ask yeah. Bill Simpson? You asked if he had been on the roller coaster yet. <laughs> and do you want so let's show the roller coaster. Oh, it's not up here. <laughs> it's down here. So the roller coaster, just for people that might think they could ride it, like me. Uh, no, you can't. But it's cute as all can be. See? There's some fake people riding it. So Nikki's there. She is about to have her cards read. I'm assuming it's not going to be what she wants to hear. And I also don't know if I trust the woman's getup. Hey kids, thanks for coming out to the Drake Land. Come on down and see the Drake Hotel.